What's up? It's Flatline Hoddle here. I would like to discuss a few things. Now I'm new to the whole Bitcoin cryptocurrency scene. Call me late. Call me behind. Call me whatever. I don't really... I didn't hear about it. I didn't know about it. I wasn't in the circle. But I heard about it now. And I'm trying to find my circle. So with that being said, I've done a lot of honest research the last couple of days. I've been sort of doing what I can to try and just kind of faucet some coin because in all honesty, let's talk what my plan is. My plan is to start at zero and see how far I can go with very little USD with like any kind of currency other than legitimate cryptocurrencies, trading faucets, whatever. Now, I'm no pro. To me, right now, it sort of looks like a game. And that's what brings up my point that maybe some other new people or whatever kind of can see maybe some of the gamers out there. I mean, you guys are a great community. Maybe you'll back me up on this. Maybe you'll all call me dumb. Feel free to do what you got to do. Um, but I would like to talk about Trump's tax plan and how it applies to what my question is. Now, somebody told me Trump wants to, like, tax all transactions, like, or they want, he wants us to switch it to USD and then switch it back to the next currency that, or the next crypto coin that we're going to buy, whatever it's say we're going from Bitcoin core, we'd have to switch it out to American dollars to buy Litecoin instead of going from Bitcoin to Litecoin. That's my take on it. Now, with that being said, how does this apply exactly if cryptocurrency is a digital currency? There's nothing in there's nothing really behind it other than people's perceived value of the currency. Now, people can believe very strongly in their coin of choice or whatever. Now, I bring up World of Warcraft because I was a player. I played for a long time, like two or three years, maybe not that long, but two or three years. And I acquired a great wealth on there. I had a lot of fun doing it. But also very much realize that you could buy, sell, trade gold for items, so forth. And now that I look at this screen, I see no difference in the game feel of it. The, okay, I'm trading here to here. Because you can say, oh, well, you can cash out and you can get real U.S. dollars. Well, let's talk about that. You can buy while... World of Warcraft money. I mean, it, it's right here. It's for sale. I mean, let's check out images. I mean, you can even buy legitimate coins. Maybe these turn into worth something one day. Maybe you get a rare one. I don't know how the coin situation works as far as World of Warcraft. I'm still working on Bitcoin. But let's be fair. If you're going to tax my Bitcoin or meddle in my Bitcoin, Let's talk about World of Warcraft. I mean, there's entire, I'm going to call them exchanges. I mean, let me click on one and see what happens. Player auction. Buy WoW gold. Sell WoW gold. One dollar gets me 6.334Ks of gold. This is World of Warcraft we're talking about. Ta Trump, tax this. Why are you worried about... What do you see here? You see the same thing, basically, that I see, I see here. Except for the difference between the marketplaces in which this gold is traded and sold on and the marketplaces in which I trade and sell my coins. One, you can see an avatar move around. You can go out and you can, I don't know, say, kill a beast, bring back some gold coins. But if I go and click on a faucet and bring back some, I don't know, Ripple or whatever, I don't know, something, we'll just, whatever kind of coin, we'll say Bitcoin, and I bring that back from a faucet, 
that's no different than when I went out and killed that beast on World of Warcraft and I brought that gold back. So if I was to say trade that gold for something in that auction house or to another player, should I not have to trade out USD or write that in a ledger so that way that I can claim that on my taxes? Because now we're entering the realm of digital currency and the fact that you want to tax everything. I'm not by any means trying to say that I understand this or that at all I'm right. I'm, this is a question. So don't hate. I mean, whatever. You want to hate the sound of my voice. You want to hate my computer screen. Whatever. Hate. But if you're going to, if I'm wrong, help me out. Help me figure this out. Because the last thing I need to do is go to jail for the next 35 years because I owe three billion dollars worth of back taxes in World of Warcraft all of a sudden because taxes from Trump's fucking head didn't make any goddamn sense about the things that they're going to do to other places. You can't logically apply it to one without logically applying it to all. Is this what we're doing in America now? Are we just not... Are, are we so messed up that if something potentially shakes or moves the foundation or is at all could be construed as worth something, the government owns it? What do we do to what what do we do at this point, you know? Like even if I say, you know, don't tax anything but until I take it out. When I take out my bitcoins or whatever, then you have the right to tax it. You know, if I never took my gold out of a war, World of Warcraft server or never took it into USD, then you have no right to tax it. But I can see paying tax on, obviously, if I make $10 million, pay, pay your taxes, whatever. But if I'm to believe that you're going to charge me taxes on me trading digital currency back and forth with never have using real U.S. money, then basically I'm creating taxes for myself out of thin air. Like right now, everything I'm doing, I'm just creating more taxes for myself. But I can't withdraw any of this. Not yet. I mean, I don't know. I've been working up trying to get to where I can get a light coin. I mean, I'm not joking when I say I have zero money. Uh, this is, I'm new. Donation would be cool. <laughs> you guys want to hook me up for something cool? I don't know. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's kind of style. I'm not a beggar, but here's my can. Now, I'm not going to keep rambling. I really just want somebody to answer my question. Like, could te technically the Bitcoin tax be held against World of Warcraft or other gamers of the sort who use digital currencies and or trade them out? prior to them ever exchanging it out for U.S. money? Or could the U.S. government force these people inside these games to trade out for USD and then trade back in for their armor? Or maybe there's a tax man that follows you around on all your adventures now. He gets, that's the thing. I mean, let's face it, if they can figure it out, they're going to tax it. Maybe I'm helping them out right now. They just realized they couldn't tax all of it until Trump came along. I didn't necessarily say Trump was a bad dude. I don't know anything about the guy because, let's face it, it was too much drama. I don't really want to talk about Trump, though. So I'm done with that. Tax plan. Is it good? Is it bad? What is happening with it? And will it get me put in jail for my World of Warcraft? I mean, let me know comments below. Appreciate it. Oh, and I'll leave you a link to all the um, faucets I use. I don't know if you're new or this is going to help or if you'll even find it, but I'll give it reasonable effort. Flatline hodl out.